Have you ever wondered what causes light? Why do things glow when they are heated up? For instance, if we take iron, it glows when it's hot. If we take sodium and heat it up, it has a certain color. Copper also has a certain color that it makes when it's heated, as does potassium and lithium and strontium. So why does this happen? So light has been a mystery to people for a long time. And Niels Bohr in the early 1910s was fascinated by light and studied it in a way that actually revealed the structure of atoms, more specifically, the structure of electrons, and started us on the path to modern day chemistry. In this inquiry lab, you will follow a similar path by comparing the predicted results from various atomic models to the actual results that we can see by looking through a device called a spectroscope. This is a device that will split light into its different wavelengths so we can compare the model to reality. We'll use this models of the atom FET simulation to compare the prediction with reality. This allows us to either set it on experiment or prediction, and we can see various models or predictions of the atomic structure. And we can run an experiment where radiation, electromagnetic radiation, is being shot at the atom. And if we click this button right here, it shows a spectrometer. This is similar to a spectroscope in certain respects. It allows us to see what wavelengths of light are bouncing back off of the atom. Now a spectrometer tells us the, also the amount of light that's bouncing back. Now a spectroscope has a similar idea behind it, except it doesn't measure the amount of light at various wavelengths. So a spectroscope, which is what we have, will have a small slit at one end, and that's going to cause the light to be narrowed down. And so then the light comes through in one small band through that slit. And so it's passing through the slit. And it goes through either a prism or some sort of diffraction grating and that causes the light to bend. So as it goes through the glass of a prism, it bends a little bit. But when it bends, that actually separates out wavelengths. So some colors will bend less and other colors will bend more. So as a result, the light will be separated into various bands of color and you can see a similar pattern developing here in this spectrometer where there's a band of color at different wavelengths. We have this purple, some blue, some red. So you'll be able to look at a real life example of the light spectra. This is called spectra, these bands of color. And you can compare that to what the different predictions make. And so this is one of the processes we use in science where we compare models, the predictions that models make to reality, and that allows us to confirm or deny the accuracy of a model. 